Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss what is encapsulation. What is a real world example of encapsulation to, for us to understand it properly? So, capsule, right? If you remember the capsule, the medicine will be inside the capsule, right? The medicine is encapsulated, so it is inside the capsule. So, in Java, what do we encapsulate? So class is the best example of encapsulation. What it does class methods and variables, right? So for example, let me write here int a equal to pi. And here also I'll write public void. It's a main method I'll write, okay? So here class is wrapping the variable and also a method. So class is the best example for encapsulation. So encapsulation, it is just wrapping a code, wrapping the code and data together. Code and data together into a single unit. That's it. The main advantage or the focus or the purpose of encapsulation is data hiding. That's it. As simple as that. How can we do data ID. Okay. Here if you see, I have created an int a, a equal to 5 and I have not declared as private, public, etc. So I just gave int a equal to 5. If you create this object, we can access this variable. Let's say if, in a, if I take another class where I read the main method. So I'm creating a ncap chained class also here. Let me click on finish. So for example here, if I have here, let's say int a, Aadhaar number, okay. Let's take long. So long should be written by L. Stale class, let's say I have a main method, okay. So in the main method, if I create the same class, if I create the object of ncap class, let's take, so ncap e equal to new ncap. So if we e dot, then definitely I'll be getting the Aadhaar number. If it is access to the public, right, so anyway, this is a test other number. It's not even a real one. So we can write any value here. So let it be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, something like that. Any number. Just to understand that if you're directly calling here, e dot other number with a public thing, you're getting the other number. So what is uh, encapsulation? That? What is, there is no data, data hiding. So let us take a simple example where people can understand. Everyone would have seen a vending machine, right? So let's take an example of this, right? You have seen this vending machine, right? So here, if you have to put some money, so this might be cola, Pepsi, another drink, the water, and you have to enter some code. Based on the money, based on the price tag to each and every product, we'll get that product, right? So in offices and all, we'll see BB and stands where we can order the similar kind of thing. So those are vending machines. So what is encapsulation is doing here? Can we directly take Pepsi? Can we directly take Coke here? We cannot take. So we have to put some money based on the tag. Then we will not know internally how it happens. That is hidden here. What is encapsulated? The Pepsi, the Coke is encapsulated. The internal working, how the machine communicates with, with the money given to the machine is hidden from us. What is actually given to us? So when we request something, let's say here they have requested the water bottle. So we got the water bottle. So we will see the Java program according to this. For our understanding, I have added Aadhaar card. So let me remove Aadhaar card. Right? So let me add we remove this also. So uh, to achieve encapsulation, we have to use private. So I'll write private. So int Pepsi, I'll write int I'm giving here by the quantity. So we'll take two examples only. Private int Coca-Cola or any other thing we can also write. So if I go back here, if I write e dot can I get Pepsi? Pepsi? Can I get that? Pepsi itself is not here. So think this one as 
so pepsi is encapsulated coca cola is encapsulated we cannot take it directly so what we'll do here we'll take the mechanism we'll remove this uh, main method here so we'll generate getters and sets okay let me take a uh, simple thing let me take pepsi here instead of private i'll put public so i'll write here so it will be get pepsi okay so this dot so i'll get pepsi method i'll copy the same i'll add coca cola so now so imagine what i have told that if you are directly taking the pepsi the vending machine you didn't pay anything and you want pepsi will it allow it won't allow right so go here so if you put e dot see pepsi it's not there but get pepsi is there that's it so if i put here sys out of get pepsi so i'll get some value what's the default value of print so zero you have not taken anything okay so now we have got getters to access this to give the value for this we take setter methods so that is called setter for setters we don't need a return type so we'll just write set count of pepsi let me copy this let's me paste here so let get count of coca cola so this is set not get okay set count of coca cola so here what i'll do i'll write this dot here we have to get some value so i'll write int pepsi so count of pepsi okay so i'll write int pepsi return this dot pepsi equal to pepsi so we don't have to have return type so i'll write i'll copy this coca cola so we'll take input so coca cola so here i'll write return this dot coca cola equal to coca cola so here as i said setters will not have a return type now we'll see i'll put e dot set count of pepsi i'll write two okay here i'll write congratulations you have got pepsi bottles now if i run this i have to get the count of pepsi bottles whatever the count we have taken now here imagine this you have paid now so you have given the count i want two so the machine output is giving congratulations you have got two pepsi bottles similar fashion if i copy this if i'm having the coca cola so if i put dot i have count of coca cola so i've got two let me copy this let me paste it here so i'll write e dot get coca cola so i'll write coca cola bottle now let me run you have got two pepsi bottles you have got two coca cola bottles here one more thing you have to see guys this is a java bean class what does java bean class contain private variables getters setters and one non parameterized function so you have to remember every class will have a default constructor if the constructor is already not there so this is the default constructor if it is only this much so it is called java plain class so we have one more thing pojo class okay what is a pojo class simple thing here see here <coughs> if i have parameterized constructor with getters and setters and private variables it's called pojo class let let me write int pepsi so int coca cola so i'm setting the value here itself so here i'll copy this this dot pepsi and this dot coca cola if you see here we'll get one error because the constructor is not parameterized okay let me take a parameterized constructor let me copy this let me paste here instead of that, i'll give 2 comma 3 so here i'll give semicolon if i run this now so i'll get the same answer we have got two pepsi bottles three coca cola bottles that's it 
Now this particular class is called Pojo class. Pojo class contains what? Let me copy this. So let me paste it here. It contains private variables, getters are there, setters are there, and one parameter as constant. So this is the real life example of encapsulation when the machine. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.